Well, this looks kind of familiar. What is this like? Let's use our camera view. There's an orange... Uh, an orange bulb orb. I'm not sure if I... There's also a graphical glitch right there. I'm not sure if I like orange bulb orbs more or less than bull bears. I, I'm really not sure. Actually, you know what? I think I like them more because they're scarier. Ugh, it's been a while since we've seen one of those. I think they're actually scarier than bull bears some of the time. No treasure in here. Let's just chain this thing. Come on. Land on him. There. Okay, that works. But I think they're... I think they're actually better designed, come to think of it. Because that thing that I was saying about um, bull borbs in Pikmin 1 is actually true of orange bull borbs in this game. And it's... It's probably, in fact, you know what? This is it. This is the reason why. This is why they didn't have, they didn't uh, keep the mechanic where dwarf bulb orbs could call the larger one because they were saving it for orange bulb orbs. And because it's essentially the same thing, but a little bit less dependent because if they put orange bulb orbs, uh, or dwarf orange bulb orbs near a larger one, then attacking those will wake the larger one, which is basically the same thing. I just realized. That that changes a lot with how I view the series. That's that's cool. And they reuse that in Pikmin 3 as well, so I can't Whoa! I can't fault the developers on that either. That's that's really cool. Okay, what's in here? Nothing. I need to start checking alcoves just because the uh, glint beetles could be there. Whoa! Ugh. I don't know if I'll ever get used to that. Okay. But that's... No. But that's actually... That's really good game design. And I guess that's a theme of most of the series, is good game design and... Do I want to use purples? Uh, it, good game design and... A... An affinity for aging well. If you notice all of these GameCube games... Uh, okay. No! Okay. I lost some Pikmin. That's the first time I, uh, I underestimated that Bulborb. But what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Nintendo seems to have an affinity, at least with GameCube games, maybe for games in general. I would say this is true of games in general, but specifically for towards... directed towards, uh, GameCube titles. They age well. They age really well. The graphics of this game, while I am emulating it, they still stand up. The models don't look janky, and the mechanics work well. I think that's true of most GameCube titles. Okay, this is this is kind of dangerous. I mean, Wind Waker aged well. Mario Sunshine aged really well. The Mario Party game stand up. Mario Kart Double Dash is still considered to be that also this is an amazing name is still considered to be one of the best if not the best mario kart although set i think eight kind of rivaled it okay let's do this hopefully get some sprays out of this not a one wait did i get the i don't remember yeah i did get the the spicy sprays okay what's in here more boulders Whoa. Kill him. Oh, I missed. There. Oh, come on. Come on. That's one thing that hasn't aged well, is the... It's... It's kind of annoying sometimes. Because when... Uh, when Purple Pikmin land on a Dwarf Bulborb and insta-kill him, they're... They will ride the Bulborb until it is to the ground. Basically, they're putting a, a stranglehold on it. And kill him. Cool. They're essentially putting a stranglehold on it. And if there are enemies nearby, that puts you in a really dangerous, uh, dangerous position because 
then the purple Pikmin is most likely going to be eaten. Oh, hello, Yo-Yo. Is this? No, this is not Ness's Yo-Yo. That would have been cool, and they probably should have done that, but I don't think this is Ness's Yo-Yo? Because his says the brand on it. Maybe it was in Japan. Here, Future Pal, on screen, What was this different in Japan? No? Okay, that's sad. Alright. I think that's all it for the treasures? Pretty sure. Yeah, I, I believe that's it for the treasures. Alright, let's let's move on. And put some more equipment on that. There's nothing buried over there. No, there's a geyser. Okay. I was wondering what was in that alcove. Here's our yo-yo. The fidget spinner of yesterday. Or flame tiller. I would have called it yesterday's fidget spinner, but I'm, I guess that's why I'm, I don't develop Pikmin games. Sub-level 8, the frontier or Christmas cavern. No, no. Okay. This is the final floor. meant to introduce us to my least favorite boss in the game. That's right. It is the Empress Bullblacks. Oh, boy. Uh, let's... You know what? No. I, I don't like doing things the easy way. We're just going to do this the real way. Like men. Like men, we will punch these babies to death. And that's by inchworming forward. I have everyone? Cool. I'm just going to inchworm forward here. There are all... That's a lot of babies. Let's use my ranged attack. Nice. There's so many who uh, didn't see him. There's so many. Look how many babies there are. Look how many babies there are. What is that? That's insane. That's crazy! Look at that, there's an army! There's an army of babies! Uh, let's, in fact, you know what, I I want an end slate for this video. I really do. Baby army? No, come here. Come here. They're not a threat to me right now. Baby army! There's my thumbnail, okay. Uh, 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 no, no, got him. Oh, there's one more. Oh. Oh, okay. We're inchworming forward. Our goal is eventually to get in front of the Bull Empress Bull Blacks. Make sure none of them can come around corners. What are these? What are these alcoves? They look like teeth. But Olimar is bigger, is too big for these to be teeth, but they look like teeth. I guess they could be teeth of s some larger than human organism. Um, oh, that was bad. Actually, they don't do that much damage. But I'm still I'm still in the yellow, so... Sorry, buddy. Uh, oh, I wonder what... You know what? I'm trying. Huh. That's... I, I was wondering if I could do that, and I guess I can. Switch back. Punch. Switch back. Oh, thank you, Olimar. Olimar's AI took over. Climb up. Move forward. Move back. Oy. Be very careful. The frame data on the the dwarf, or not the dwarf, the uh, bulbord larva is not that good. So I can I can get away with with using the lingering hitbox of my my punching attack to kill them. Okay, inch forward. Move back. Oh, I guess I can't do that. Okay, let's... Oh, punch. Punch. No, punch. Punch. No, punch. Falcon punch. Falcon punch the children. Move up. Switch back. Kill the child. Kill the child. Kill the child. Now, if you're wondering why... Because I've only mentioned this once or twice. 
If you're wondering why they are no longer spawning larva, it is because the game can o it only renders, uh, two, let's see, how many larva? Is it 20? No, they, they will only register 20 um, nectar pools or sprays on, on the map at one time. Now, I believe what's happening now is there, it's despawning the ones off screen. But I, I'm, I can't really be sure. Okay, let's move back. Switch. Okay, uh, s dismiss the group. Dismiss the group! Punch! No! What are you doing, Pikmin? You're an idiot! Alright. Punch them. I'm a little bit behind. I, I kind of wanted to defeat this enemy because I've never done that. Ever. I've never defeated an enemy using... Uh, using the the over-the-camera view. So let's try that now. Oh, come on. Certainly it's time for you to, to roll around and throw a fit. Oh, boy. Taking so much damage. I do not like this boss. I don't like it. It's not that I don't like it because it's badly designed. Come on. Come. Yes. All right. Switch. Crush your children, please. Kill them for me. Why is there a Pikmin? Ah! Why would you do that? All right. Switch back to Olimar. Uh, what is it saying? It's not even I that I don't like it because it's badly designed. Oh, you you are lucky. But I don't like it because it's it's difficult. But it's it's a very well designed boss battle, I think. It's just that it's it requires a lot of micromanagement. Uh, I guess it's it's also being made worse by the fact that I am by the fact that I'm using this camera angle. All right, switch over. Kill your children. I'll I'll deal with this one for you. No, it, don't don't no need to thank me. Uh, actually, let's also let's partition out my group. I do not want to be fighting with with that. There we go. Uh, switch back. Oh, get him. Okay. Whew. This is not a battle that I'm good at, but I'm also I'm also enforcing a challenge. To myself, so I guess it's it's my fault. All right. Let's dismiss the group. Get on child babysitting duty. <laughs> uh, I I crack myself up. I'm also the best babysitter in the world. Um, there. Use this stupid camera angle that is not meant. It's not meant for this. All right, I think I have it in tempo now. It hit, she should kill that guy. Yeah. Okay. Now I, I essentially have the fight down. I have the timing down. Throw Pikmin on her. Recall them, and she'll kill the new child. There we go. I have I have the timing down now. Now I can just stay in this camera view and kill her like this. I think it's it's a really cool way to do a boss battle. This camera angle is not because it involves holding down the button. It's not one that is commonly used. And so it's it's a good challenge. Okay, kill the child. Kill the child. And now to end off this boss battle. To end off the boss battle, she's dead. <sighs> that, that's it. That's, that's the Valley of Repose, everyone. We're done. We finished it. <laughs> Olfactory sensors overloading, approaching outer stink limits. The stench must be emanating from the object. And we get another upgrade. Really? Really? Get over here. 
Actually, can I leave this guy alive? Is Olimar smart enough to dodge this thing's attacks? Olimar? Olimar? Are you not smart enough for this? You did it before. Olimar, come on, buddy, you did it before. Now you just have to kill him, and now he's dead. <sighs> Olimar, buddy. I, it would have been kind of funny if Olimar had died there. That would have that would have been uh, an entertaining end to the value of repose. All right, so this is a shoe, in case you couldn't tell, and so it's only fitting that I have the fastest Pikmin alive. Carry this back to base. I, I could use a spray on it, but I'm not I'm not that invested in in the gag. So this upgrade, um, well, we've already gotten one in this cavern for our hands. Now it's time to get one for our feet. Also, that looks really weird. The, his fist is disjointed from his body. That's odd. Alright, here it is. Repugnant appendage. This object has pockets of air under its surface. It is perfect for the boots I am making. Processing complete. A nano assemblage of the brush boots is concluded. These nullify wind resistance by circulating air beneath the soles. You'll move faster and you'll no longer be blown away by Puffy Blue Hog's nasal blasts. I forgot that it did that. I, I just remembered it making you move faster. So, this, if I can show you, in my opinion, is the worst upgrade in the game. You can see I move very quickly. But the downside to this is that flower Pikmin no longer, except with the exception of whites, are no longer able to keep up. And purples are the worst of all. So, not only are leaf purple Pikmin completely useless now, you can't have leaf purple Pikmin. They will, they will inevitably kill themselves. But also, normal Pikmin will fall behind as well. It is a nice upgrade if you're just trying to go from point A to point B. You're moving, I think, twice as quickly. And you also notice that white Pikmin can no longer uh, exceed you in speed when holding the, the C-Stick with the direction you're moving. They can just keep up. But it comes at the cost of, of having Pikmin lag behind and sometimes die, which... It just adds an element of micromanagement that I, I don't like. It's it's kind of a parasitic parasitic upgrade, and I'm not a big fan of it. But it's an upgrade that we have to get, and it's a cave that we had to complete. Let's leave the Valley Repose and give it one last look-see. Brute Knuckles, Repugnant Pendant, Omniscient Spear, a lot of things! and four deaths, which were completely and utterly avoidable. That's it! We're, we're done! We're done with the value of Repose. And I think it's only fitting that I end it off in the way that I do. <sighs> it's been... It's been 32 episodes coming. Also, whoa, <gasps> dude, that's cool. The this is well, I guess never mind. I, I guess at the beginning of this day, there were it was episode 32, and because of the time skip, we were on day 30. That's cool. But now we're on what, like episode 36, because of the cave. So I guess that that no longer holds true. Uh, put them away. Put the, did I lose any purple? Oh no. No, okay, I, I actually have more purple, purples than when I, what I entered with. Alright, what we are going to do is the way I used to end off almost every day in Pikmin 2 when I was a child. And that is... Let's, let's enjoy the sights. It's... It's kind of a wrap-up, I guess. A, a multi-part wrap-up. In that I get to visit every single every single area in the game again one last time clearing out what I missed and remembering what what used to be in in this 
in this game. And also remembering, I guess, my childhood, because most pe a lot of people have grown up with this game. And so it holds up, it holds a lot of sentimental value. The exploration that you're making your own story as you go along really bolstered my imagination as a child. And most of my creating ri creative writing assignments from, from elementary and middle school onto this, the end of college, were inspired by this game. And it's... It just feels so good. It feels so good to return to it. But it also leaves, I guess, a feeling of sadness being done. I'm, I may never go back to the Valley of Repose again. Do Fiery Bullboxes just move places and then sleep? Because that's all they seem to do. At least with the Bulborbs in the in the end of day sequence, they try to attack you. But the bull bear or the fiery bull blacks is just he's 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 fine. He doesn't really care. He just wants to sleep. He's just a grumpy old man, a grumpy, creepy, fire scarred old man. That's it though. That is it for this area. It's so cool. We gained. We actually gained Pikmin all around, and we have broken the 1,000 Pikmin uh, uh, tr landmark goal thing threshold. We broke it. We did it. And we lost four Pikmin to battle. Don't don't give me that. I I I, 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 try, I do my best for you, Pikmin. And we get this this uh, this message. This is actually all I used to remember these messages being because past day 500 they they don't change or past I think day 20 they stopped changing so this is all we're going to be able to be used to Lou you've abs you've sent absolutely no replies I'm worried about you and I'd like to come see you but I'm so old all I can do is send you preserved bug foods that's going to be it thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed today in any capacity please click like if you didn't then drop a comment telling me how I could make the next episode so that you would like it Tomorrow, we're heading to the Awakening Wood, and unlike some of, the, unlike the other two areas of the game, uh, besides the Awakening Wood, this one has an entire section of the map that we haven't even looked at yet, and we're going to be exploring that next time. Thank you so much for watching. I release new episodes of Pikmin 2 every Tuesday and Thursday, and join me next time where I go to the Awakening Wood. Oh, you guys should probably stay for the end slate. It's it's kind of important. All right. See you guys next time. He's so fast and he's just walking normally. Yeah, I think that's it. Come on. Yes, I got him. Woo! Go, go, go! That one Pikmin is such a trooper! Kill him! Kill him!